Hmm, okay, control warlock probably. Or it might be the uh, cursed warlock. I guess it's all kind of, you know, into the same type of a uh, pool of what warriors considered. But we're playing the uh, enraged warrior. Now, I haven't seen too much of this on the ladder at all. But it still has a pretty good win rate. Not not a lot of people are even, are playing it as well. If that's also the other problem with it. I think it had about a sixty percent win rate out of a thousand games. So that's a pretty low amount compared to you know by now most uh, most sex that are being played consistently have over twenty seven thousand games played. So their uh, stats are a little bit more uh, true. Like Arcane Hunter has twenty six or twenty eight thousand games played and it's a sixty two point eight percent win rate. First walks, 59 out of 12,000. Train to Groot is 58 out of 11,000, so that kind of gives you an idea of how low it is uh, in compared to everything else. But let's see if we can snag some wins with it. Maybe, maybe not. I do like this with this in our hand. Uh, you don't have to worry about this getting uh, sniped by anything or destroyed, so that's also a big plus on our end. So if this could, if we could abuse this, um, this might just be our well, it is our win condition, especially against a, a warlock. Wow. Now it's probably another reason why this deck isn't doing too hot. There's just so much good spot removal that doesn't deal damage that we just can't do anything about it. I am gonna coin that out actually. 3-5 in stats is really good, and if he plays anything, we could play this in trade and we'll at least guarantee a buff on this. Then turn five, we'll have a follow up, and we'll have another core shift to go off with it. Maybe we don't play this actually. <laughs> I think I might just trade. Oh, jam session's really nice though. Okay, we're gonna play this on here. I think I want to do it here so I could trade both in. I don't necessarily want this to die per se. Yeah, really good. I guess I should have waited to draw so I could guarantee the bus to land on there, but that's fine. Okay, it's just all lands on there. That's fine. Look at that. I already need 813. Ah, damn. I guess I could have assumed he would have played that, but it's all good. Um, We'll go... No, since we can attack with this, I think we'll go we'll add it there so we can have, be able to attack with everything. Right there. Play the taunt. Discover. Hmm. It's probably a flesh shaper. Allows us to play a bit on curve. Ooh, Diamond Symphony Sin. That's cool. Heal six to everything. That's annoying. Okay, we'll play that. That's not that great, but it's all good. If he plays anything, we have lethal. We can trade into it, attack with that, and go face. I think we got this in the bag. Or Drain Soul. Play minion, please. Play a couple minions. Uh, that's gonna be multiple Drain Souls, right? Yeah. We still win off of that. 8, 9, 10, 11. We really can't. Unfortunate. Because I should have attacked face with this first. That's my bad. But I'm judging this as Curse Warlock if they're playing the Dark Bane. So him having to waste a Dark Bane on a Drain Soul and not like any Curse spell is good on our end. That means we're pushing him down pretty hard. Uh, the flower clears everything, but that's fine. Oh, and he's able to go into his... Oh, it's a fear. Okay. So it's definitely a curse. Although, I'm assuming he has his uh, Sargeras in his hand, then, if that's the case. I'm only able to attack face with this. But I don't want him to have any type of way of destroying it. And since he already played his band manager, I doubt he plays Viper in the main deck. Oh, 
Do this. I guess drum solos is a little bit better. Uh, okay. Do that, do that. You have to take that damage, unfortunately. Really stinks we have to do that. I think we have to. We can't let Sargeras get out of the hand. Uh, we just lose. We we don't have anything else we could do, really. Yeah. Really unfortunate. It should be another bridge rift. Yes. Okay, I'm just praying for no more curse stuff. But I mean, he already has it up to two. We can play quite a bit. I don't know. Maybe an imbued axe might have might be able to save us, but it's not infused either. So that's a bit of a problem. <sighs> and Zakul, yeah, we we can't win this. Man, I thought it was gonna be easy game with how good our opener was, but we can't do anything else. Yeah, drawing weapon doesn't matter. Gosh, that sucks. It was looking so good. Mm, Druid's a little bit of a hard matchup. Ooh, that instrument tag is really nice to see. Uh, we might just want to keep that glide pain for draw. Uh, mill maybe. If it's a Renathal version, I don't really like playing against mill, but it should actually help us in a way. Drawing to our stuff very fast. I'm gonna play the instrument attack, and we'll get our imbued axe. Try and get this infused as fast as possible, and start doing a lot of damage. Yeah, so it is that, unfortunately. Uh, we'll play our Acolyte of Pain, so we start drawing some cards, and if he removes everything, this is infused. You know, whatever works. <laughs> Might be the OTK if they're playing uh, Kiri. Kind of interesting. Olga is pretty cool. Um, so we just need to infuse one more and start go popping off with it. We might trade here or here, depending, but we do not have any fire spells on hand. Okay, it's fine. Oh, there's that. It's nice. Okay. This is kind of interesting. I think we do want to play this. Make that active. Then we can play this next turn. If we just happen on top deck jam session, we're in really good. Like we're we're gonna we're gonna be doing pretty solid. Or even any fire spell really. Hmm. Kind of odd. Face the fire. Ah, face the fire. I don't think that's the right way to do it, but we're gonna do that. Just gets as big as possible. If he goes wide, we just play the Olgra. I was really hoping for like some type of way of dealing damage to everything. It really seems that the verse for the rifts don't aren't considered fire spells. If they were fire spells, it would be pretty insane. As you can see. Oh, silencing it, okay. 
might be like undead druid or something. I'm not really sure. I think I might just tempo this out. Nine damage to face is pretty good. You probably can't deal with it either. Didn't he soul he Yeah, he casted Solar Eclipse into coin. Kinda misplayed that. Oops. I could also like ping here or something to make sure that we get more happening here. We could also play this first. That's kinda good. I guess I should have played that because then we can't do this just yet, but it's all good. We'll play this. And then we'll get those buffed up a bit more. Eat damage, that's fine. You could try and like set this up for their like, you know, lethal or some way if he just does damage to everything but doesn't kill everything here. That's one, two, three, four, five, plus nine, that's fourteen. Okay, well, close enough. Hmm, the gold one looks pretty cool. Nice. Gotta win with it. Not too bad. A little worried about that. Hmm, shaman's interesting. Uh, I'm not really sure what shaman deck to expect. If it's just like, what, the OTK? Could be also totem shaman too, which would be a little annoying. Okay, looks like we're going to keep the Olgra here. Probably Totem Shaman. I don't see the OTK, OTK deck uh, too often anymore after the nerf to Bioluminescence. Looks like it might be uh, Totem. Probably Totem now. <laughs> Probably. Uh, this is not the best hand. I don't really like pointing out that, but I think we had to. Like, we could have just played the Sun Fury just to play it, but you could have traded into it easily. That's really annoying. I don't know what we could get that could help with that. We're just going to get ran over. Now I wish I saved the coin. This place is scary. Unfortunate. Uh, we're not really equipping any weapons. Except for the imbued axe. I might drop this down. He might not trade into it. And then this might help remove some of the 1-1s here. If we're fortunate enough that he doesn't kind of realize that. He might. It might be like this into the... One, one of these two probably next turn. Maybe. Or if he has the fishies, we just kind of die out. Oh my goodness. Oh, he traded that? Why? Okay. I'm assuming he probably has a... Uh, what's it called? Oh, it doesn't remove those, though. Oh, wait, no, it does. It goes one, two... Do it here. Kill that. Could have played this first. Draw two. Right there. I definitely misplayed some of the order there. We probably could have played the Falag and had something left over from it, but I think that's fine. Okay, it looks like it's going to be a Sword Eater turn, or not anymore. Maybe, maybe. Um, we don't have a Fire Spell. This doesn't really deal with it, but it kind of does. And it, it sucks that I have to take that 7 damage. Raid's there, that's 2. If he just has 2 damage from anything, we just lose. Yeah, that just... Ah, oh, so annoying. Had a really bad opener with that game. 